Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bueno, si es mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 437. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back. All joking aside, this is literally like the sixth or seventh take today because I'm so fired up that I keep stammering. And I keep stammering because there's a lot up here that's having a hard time coming out down here, right? So just stick with me, right? Uh, it's a football Friday. It's a work day. It's time to get to work. But before we do, we got to talk about why it's a football Friday. Number one, college football playoff starts tomorrow. OU's playing. Jalen Hurts is their quarterback. We've been talking about this since he transferred, that I was hoping that he was going to end up here. And then I'm listening this morning. There's a whole bunch of people like, hey, OU's got a lot better shot of beating that LSU team than other people would think, right? And so imagine that, right? All year I've been talking about Jalen Hurts and I started talking about Coach Ed and now they got to play each other. It's how life works, right? Not everybody gets to be number one. Also, this weekend is the final weekend of the NFL season. As I was watching, you know, some stuff yesterday, um, I happened to see a t-shirt called Chase the Lion. We're going to talk more about that later. First things first, I'm still the realist. I'm also human. The reason why this is applicable is because yesterday I fully intended to get a bunch of administrative stuff done. I got very little of it done. Why? Because I'm human and I allow myself to get distracted, distracted. Um, there's some depression. There's some procrastination. There's self-doubt. There's all of those things that go into this. And then the pressure, right? You know, and I was listening to, uh, I think it was Tony Dungy talk about it yesterday. Pressure is what happens is when we don't know what to do. Right. When we don't know what to do, we're like, oh, my God, I got to do something. I don't know what to do. It's terrible. Right. It'll cripple you. My thankies are that as I was going through that, and I'm like, man, I want something to eat, but I don't feel like leaving. I don't want to go out in public. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to sit here and feel sorry for myself, try to figure this out and maybe eat a little bit more because I'm human. Right. I was like, man, there's nothing to eat here. So I started looking through the pantry and I'm like, holy cow, I love when I'm better prepared than I thought I was. I had bought Spam. Spam was on buy one, get one free. So I bought a couple and had it for dinner last night. It was delicious. People who make fun of Spam, most of them have never tried it or they think they just, they're dumb, right? Like Spam's delicious. Uh, if you don't like Spam, there's something wrong with you, probably. Um, I don't know. Yeah, why? Yeah, but I don't need to be mean to somebody just because they don't. If you don't like spam, I'm sorry for you. You're missing out, right? It's delicious. All right, chase the lion. Thought of the day. What the F does chase the lion mean, right? And so it was John Harbaugh, the head football coach. We spoke about him. We talked about his brother. We talked about his father, his family. Remember these guys? Who's got it better than us? No one. That family, right? So John Harbaugh has this T-shirt on that says chase the lion. I knew it had to mean something, right? And so it uh, turns out it's a book written by Mark Batterson. I was like, hmm. And it's about, you know, if your dream isn't so big that it scares you, you need to dream bigger. I'm like, well, that shouldn't be a problem because every time I start thinking about the bill and fundraising and all these things, it's such a big, you know, just nebulous dream that it, it cripples me, right? It does. And I wish I could tell you why I don't know why, right? Because I don't know where to start. And then the, like, the feelings of regret start coming in. And, the, and knowing that I'm not doing that thing that I feel like I'm just supposed to do, all of that is overwhelming, right? And so anyway, I was like, well, apparently I'm supposed to read this book, Chase the Lion. And, and so I went to the guys and I wanted, I, I was just interested, right? So I started looking some more about him. They got on his Wikipedia page, which I have no problem using Wikipedia because I give my three or four bucks everything. As a matter of fact, I gave my three bucks last year and I gave three bucks for somebody else because I knew that some of y'all would use Wikipedia and not pay your fair share, but it's all right. No worries. I got you. Anyway, Mark Batterson, born in Minnesota, grew up in Chicago, was given a, granted a scholarship to play basketball at the University of Illinois at Chicago, where he started going. Then he decided that he had a change of heart and decided that he was, he was led, that he was going to go into ministry. So he went to a Bible school in Springfield, Missouri. That's all around me, right? I got a very, a couple very painful personal memories there. Also have my, my daughter's, uh, Addie's, uh, uh, her current teacher is from there and she is just in love with this lady. And I'm like, how could something that, yeah, just crazy. Um, 
And it turns out that Mark Batterson is also an avid cornhole player, like me. I wonder if I could beat him. And a Brett Favre fan. I'm like, wait. He was born in Minnesota, grew up in Chicago, became a, a, a Brett Favre fan. My kind of guy. But that wasn't enough. I knew there had to be something else there. And then as I, I, I looked through his list of books that he wrote, and I'm like, there it is. Now all I have to do is find it. And it's this. That at some point in the last four years that I've lived here, um, I went to my therapist. And this is probably this is at least a couple years ago, right? My therapist, DQ, said, hey, Rob, you need to read this book. And she even wrote it down for me. All in by Mark Batterson. I swear to you, this is at least 2017. Could have been 2016 when she made that recommendation. And I promptly put it in my book and never did anything with it. So I think that's my nudge, right? I also just got hit, my bank account got hit by $12.99 for my Audible or audiobooks charge, my monthly fee, and I get a free book. Guess what I'm listening to? This should be interesting. I'm sure this is exactly what I need to hear. Um, I'm sure that God is somehow involved in this. It's a God thing, right? Like Mark Batterson, is a guy, he's a preacher, all these things. You know, my one of my best friends lives in Naperville, all of this stuff, right? Love it. I love how it's all just like there. It's around you. It's in your face, but not really in your face. With that, I'm done for the day. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a football Friday. We'll be back tomorrow on a Savage Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you then. And uh, have a great day. Deuces. Go get you some.